In the current video series, we have been discussing about the transcription in eukaryotes. Now in this video, we will be discussing about the polymerization reaction in RNA synthesis. We know it is the transcription process from which we get the RNA synthesized from DNA strand. But it is the DNA strand which runs 3' prime to 5' prime strand that aids in the process of RNA synthesis. Here it acts as a template strand. Or we can say any strand can act as a template strand if polymerase binds at 3' prime end. Here in this diagram we can see we have the DNA molecule having two strands running in opposite directions. So either of the strands can act as template strand. If we take the upper strand of DNA that is running from 3' prime to 5' prime end, then polymerase that is the RNA polymerase needs to bind here at 3' prime position and we get the RNA synthesis. So that means RNA polymerase runs on DNA template from 3' prime end to 5' prime end. So from this process we get the RNA synthesis. Or if we take the lower strand, the polymerase needs to bind here that is on the 3' prime end in order to drive the process of transcription. Now let's see what are the requirements for the polymerization reaction during the process of transcription or RNA synthesis. First we have the RNA polymerase enzyme. This RNA polymerase enzyme catalyzes the formation of phosphodiester bonds between the nucleotides. Then we have a DNA strand that's running from 3' prime to 5' prime end. It complements the nucleotides in RNA strand. Then we need RNTPs, that's ribonucleoside triphosphates, like we have adenosine triphosphate, ATP, GTP, CTP, and UTP, that's adenosine triphosphate, gonosine triphosphate, cytosine triphosphate, and uracil triphosphate. It must be noted that we have uracil triphosphate instead of thymine triphosphate as in case of DNA strand. So in RNA strand during the process of transcription, the uracil is incorporated in place of thymine. And for the process of transcription or RNA synthesis, we need ATP, that's energy. So we get energy for transcription from triphosphates when phosphoanhydride bond breaks between phosphates. And for the RNA synthesis process, we do not need any primer to proceed the process of RNA synthesis. So these are the requirements. Now let's get directly to the polymerization reaction. We see we have a DNA template strand in 3' prime to 5' prime direction as shown in the diagram. And on the right, the RNA synthesis takes place where we get the bonding of nucleotides through phosphodiester bond as shown in the diagram. And here is the incoming nucleotide triphosphate. The reaction here taking place is aided by the RNA polymerase enzyme. The RNA polymerase enzyme polymerizes the nucleotides. In this diagram, we can see 3 OH of growing chain of nucleotide attacks the alpha phosphate of incoming nucleotide triphosphate, as shown in the figure, which results in the release of pyrophosphate and also we get the phosphodiester linkage. So this RNA synthesis continues until we get the termination. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.